numéro 20, Vassilé Nekov. Avec euh, présentation pour commencer du Dynamo de Riga et son gardien. Voilà, il ne faut pas qu'on rentre vous ce soir, c'est un peu au retour de l'autre jour. Voilà, un superbe tir là. Oui, le rondo, le de rondeur international de France et qui a une vision de jeu assez, assez, assez belle sur cette action. Bah pour le moment, les Français vont... Ah, une jolie combinaison entre Dallet et Villa Fleur. Villa Fleur qui a failli marquer le premier but. Ouais. Ah, ce serait une belle chose. Ce serait une belle chose que Guy Lafleur marque le premier but ou un but d'un petit pageant Kowski. Le rondo tire. Nikonen making his third start for the Moscow Dynamo. Is a goals against average of 2.00. And he goes against Daryl Trakolo from the University of Manitoba, a Winnipeg native who starts his third game as well. His goals against average is 6.00. Trakolo starts. Trakolo was very, very, played a very good period in goal and. Uh, One thing I noticed that period is that the Canadians are having a lot of trouble getting the puck out of the... I do uh, slip that one by, but the referee was right on the spot, or the line, I should say, Steve Baker. They're always looking for that nice little cute little play, and Paul Harris is one of the best stick handlers in the world, and he shows some of his moves in the first three games, and I'm sure we'll see more of it as the series goes on. Well, we're going to have a goaltending change here. Nikitin, Yuri Nikitin, heads to the bench, and Mikhail Vasilnuk. Who's played three games so far? Uh, will come in. Vasilnuk is a veteran, no question about that. He's 36 years old. And he's got an interesting bunny hop to the net, Darcy. Eh? Vasilnuk, McKayle, on this day. in this game, shot right on that time from McLaren. He to the right of Vasilnuk. Shot right on, Vasilnuk the save, and on the rebound, fired off the post. And this is Newell Brown, Brown, cleared it right out in front, shot! Oh, and a good save by Vasilnuk. Number 10 for the Soviet line. Benoit Doucette going right in, gets set for the shot, Vasilnuk the save. He lost his stick trying to get a shot away. Canada still in possession, here's a good chance for Team Canada. Vasilnuk the save. saved by Vasilnuk. You know, anytime a goaltender comes in halfway through the game, cold, he's 36 years old. I'm sure his bones are Takes quite a while. stiff. Well, you it's now Sylvester Canada. For Doucette. Doucette got it in front. Sylvester on oh, the back end. Line at center ice. Slipped it through somehow. Canada going in. Oh, and that time Simpson. They get a stoppage in play in the Soviet zone. There's the score. Time runs out in period two. Doucette in the slot, and Doucette can't control it to get a shot away. Canada over to keep it in. Shot right on, a blistering drive by Roy, the rebound. And both blocked by Vicinda. Now Doucette right out in front. Going for the net, Doucette and Sylvest. And this Canadian team looking to add to the goal total, not really trying to protect the lead too much, at least in that sequence of plays. Good action in front of the net here. We see a lot of scramble here. Sylvest and Sills doing the action in front there. Trying to jam the puck loose home. Cayusum and Sills got their elbows and sticks up with each other. And we'll have some penalties. This telecast is protected. Shot right on. Right out in front. And Roy can't get to it. Now it's back to Roy. Into the slot. Fired right on. Just wide. Rebound is there. Oh, and off the post. That was Darren Boyko. Good action by Team Canada all around the Soviet net. Just unfortunate they couldn't score there. And Simpson misses the corner there, and he's looking for his first goal. Mozakov will go off two minutes for slashing. Oh. 